guys welcome back to my channel um, so today we're going to be doing Zara's two week update I've been trying to get this video out for you guys because she's coming up on her third week and as you can see got my mama thing working right now um, because I don't want her to wake up and she is known if I'm not holding her then she'll wake up but if I'm talking I think she'll be okay she just likes to be held while she sleeps i'm going to update you guys on zara basically our life right now with her um zoe being a big sister and everything and i'm also going to be doing my skin nighttime skin routine it's not a nighttime skin routine video but i have to cleanse my face anyways so i thought i can kind of do both together so i'm just going to kind of do so before we jump into this video you guys already know um, go ahead and click and subscribe to join the family, the team, the tribe, whatever. We haven't really figured out a name yet. What we're going to call ourselves here on my channel. Um, the first thing is, is if you guys have not seen my labor and delivery story, then you don't know that Zara was born on June 10th. She came a few days earlier than her due date. She was 6 pounds and 12 ounces, a lot smaller than what we thought she was going to be. I stayed in the hospital for two days after having her. I guess you can call it two days. I guess a day and a half after having her. Um, and yeah, so everything here has just come to a complete stop. We have been really trying to get our routine back together and figure out life right now with baby Zara she is in the carrier sleeping away as long as I'm holding her she is fine um she's so cute head full of hair um so we just kind of stopped as far as like me working um doing anything on the side making a lot of videos Greg is working a lot from home and everything is just kind of crazy so we're just trying to adjust to having a new little person in the house um she has consumed a lot of our time and everything um basically every day it's zara it's either a doctor's appointment um or something um i'm just everything is about Zara so I'm going to start off by washing my face and I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and do that and I'm also going to be using the cleansing duo face brush from elf um, I feel like because I stopped exfoliating so much to kind of help my skin repair I I feel like my skin has gotten a little bit rougher um, because I don't exfoliate as much as I used to with that gray sponge but my skin has cleared up so I want to use this to help exfoliate my skin on either a daily basis or every other day and I picked this up at Target and I like that it has like a soft side and then a little kind of rougher side but it's still pretty soft so I'm going to go wash my face and I'll come back and um, finish off with the two week update okay so i'm currently using the yes to cucumber soothing sensitive skin soothing sensitive skin gentle milk cleanser this is the um face wash that i'm currently using i've been using it for about three to four months we're still trying to get our life back together with you know having baby zara here everybody's just basically is kind of stuck in the house mostly me so Zara is um, currently being breastfed 24-7 um, when she her first day out of the hospital when we came home on Tuesday I noticed Wednesday morning that she wasn't urinating enough and wasn't going to the bathroom enough and it turned out that she wasn't getting enough like milk so I had to substitute some formula um, for about I think I did that for four to five days, which helped her gain more weight. So now she, from the last night, got her weight. I'm just using a warm towel to wipe off the hair for But so now from her last weigh-in, which was like a week ago, she was seven pounds. 
So she went from being born six pounds and 12 ounces the day we left the hospital, which was on Tuesday. Um, she was, well, I had her on Sunday, Tuesday. She was six pounds and seven ounces, and then, no, six pounds and four ounces or seven ounces. And then on Wednesday, she was just six pounds. So she was losing so much weight and she wasn't like getting enough milk. So now she weighs from the last weigh in from when I went to her doctor's appointment, which was like a week ago. She is seven pounds. So she has gained the weight back, and I'm pretty sure she's over seven pounds um since her last weigh in so now i'm not subbing with bread with a little bit of formula when i was subbing with formula i was only doing like about two ounces after she fed about 15 minutes on each breast then i'll give her two ounces of formula and it helped and i only did that maybe like three times a day and it helped her regain a lot of um her fat back so that was for we only did that for her first like for like maybe four to five days but I'm currently not doing that anymore. So some things that I was having issues with was just basically my um, milk was not coming in fast enough for her. And so some of the things that I've been doing to help build my milk supply besides feed her on demand um, and just feed her as often as possible and as much as possible. It's also one of my friends got me the mother's milk and this is the organic like healthy lactation um tea so i did drink i was drinking this like three times a day because you can drink it three times a day so i'm going to use the botonics all bright um cleaning cleansing toner and this was a toner i've always been using for my skincare i like to put it in a different container because i hate this little square thing but this is the toner that i'm currently like that i've been using since like since i've been using toners so that's one of the products i did try the lactation cookies um those i really really like the cookies aren't nasty they're actually quite good so i will post a picture of the ones that i had and i'm also currently taking the lactation plus and these are the um, pills that you can take to help boost your um milk supply so i'm taking those and i'm still taking my prenatals and stuff like that so those are the things I'm taking to help build my milk supply for Zara. Right now, she is still cluster feeding. She's cluster feeding a lot. And um, I know for the past couple of days, I've been dealing with that with her waking up every hour and a half to eat um, basically for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And then she'll go to sleep and then wake up again to eat. This is the longest she's been asleep pretty much all day and it's probably because she's really tired from being up all night and I'm extremely tired also so I'm, next I'm going to use the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Daily Repair Treatment I like to use this on when I have like little small bumps and or little acne spots or anything like that it helps keep you from breaking out so I like to use that or I like to use the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment um, either or works. Um, what was I saying? So right now she's cluster feeding. I'm hoping last night was the last night that she's going to be doing that because mama needs some sleep. At first she was sleeping for about three. At first she was sleeping up to three hours at night and I would wake her up to feed. And now it's like she's waking me up to eat for her to eat. And at first it was me waking her up. And now it's the opposite because I'm trying to get sleep and she is up all night she when she was first born she couldn't really fit her newborn stuff but now she's starting to really fit into some of her newborn things um her belly button cord fell off so i was really excited about that so she had her first bath a couple of days ago when that fell off um she had a bath last night and she she's not particularly happy about the baths because even though i'll feed her before her bath she still doesn't like it she still wants to eat and she just she's not really comfortable yet with the bath um i'm not sure if i'm just waiting too late at night or if she's just really really hungry she is actually starting to roll over which is weird because she's only what what's today's date she's only like 18 days old and she's already like rolling over like i laid her on her back so i can like get the 
um, nursing pillow together so I can nurse her and she rolled over on her stomach and she sat her head up and I was like oh my god you're too small to be doing that so and it wasn't coincidence she does it a lot and it's scary because when I lay her on the bed I, I don't want her to roll off anyway and she's on she's so freaking tiny and she's already doing that um she loves to be held up and walked around with so when she's grumpy sometimes it's not that she's hungry she just wants to see everything so her dad holds her up and walks around with her so she can see everything she's really really nosy and really really greedy so i am starting to pump milk i'm trying i am trying to start pumping milk to have milk stored for when i'm out of the house so next i'm gonna next i'm gonna take the yes to blueberries and this is the refresh and this is, I don't know, I can't read it because the thing is I'll scratch it, but it's the eye firming treatment that I use at nighttime. Or I use it during the day, it's just whenever I feel like, you know, using it. I'm just gonna use it on my eyes and on my lids here. I am starting to pump milk and trying to store milk um, and also pumping milk after she eats helps build up your milk supply. So that's another thing if you don't have a breast pump, um, you know, you should get one to help you know pump out some milk or if you don't want to breastfeed but you still want to have breast milk you can definitely pump the milk out and just bottle feed them um because breastfeeding is, is hard and it hurts and it's not for the weak-minded i've learned that the hard way there's times where i was crying and i want to give up even when i had to supplement I was really depressed because I was like, I really wanted to just give her straight breast milk, but it's not about me. It's about her and her health. So I just dealt with it and gave it to her and she was fine. And I have nothing against formula. I just always want to breastfeed and I didn't get the opportunity to fully breastfeed Zoe up until she was like one because I had to go back to school. So with Zara, I'm hoping to breastfeed her until she basically have teeth coming in. Then I'll keep pumping and kind of give her the milk. But if something happens and I have to just go to formula, then I'm okay with that also. And another thing that I've noticed is that um, I love to bond with her. And she we kind of bond well when I breastfeed her. She um, She's really one of those babies that like attack the nipple because she's just like, I want to eat right now. And so when I'm like trying to feed her, she's like trying to grab. So I had to go to a, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, a mommy and me class. Um, it was at the hospital that I had her at, and it's a free class that they offer at that hospital on Tuesdays. And you can go, and there's other moms there, and there's two um, professional lactations uh, consultants or whatever. I can't say that right but they help you try to figure out what's wrong and Zara was having a hard time I was having a hard time getting her to latch on she was having a hard time latching on because I wasn't holding or pinching the nipple correctly so once they kind of showed me how to do that everything was fine she started eating fine and that's what caused her to start gaining more weight so she's been doing really well since we kind of went to that class um, I'm hoping to go back I was supposed to go back on Tuesday but a lot of stuff happened and I couldn't go but it's a good thing so if you are having issues with trying to breastfeed your baby maybe try to find a lactation consultant to go to um, and or even find like a free class or something or find a support group and right now because logging all of your baby's information is very very important so right now I use a app called glow baby and it's on my phone and so every time i have to feed zara or she's sleeping or which i haven't logged because she's been asleep for so i just log in her sleep um i log in her pamper changes her feeds and you can see there is a cool little chart there that shows you how the blue is when she sleeps, the yellow is when she eats, and it has all the pampers. So you can see pamper changes. You can log in medicine when you have to give her medicine or your baby medicine um, when you're pumping. And there's like support groups on here. So I really love this app. Um, I will put a link or something down below for you guys to check it out if you want that app on your phone for your baby. And lastly, I'm going to use the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Sensitive Skin Calming Night Cream. 
I use this night and day because I've noticed that the other cream, the other moisturizer, was just not helping my acne. And this one kind of calms my skin down and get my skin ready for bed. And even during the day, it's just I just like how my skin reacts to this moisturizer. So that is the app that I use all the time for um, Zara to track all her stuff. Because it's hard to try to remember how many BB diapers she had, how many poo poo diapers. And um, it's important to know how many times they're going to the bathroom so you can know if they're getting enough breast milk or formula or eating enough or there's nothing wrong with them or anything so and lastly um some things that i can say i mean that doesn't have to do with her update because she's well, she's healthy she's fine she loves to look around she loves i hope i wish you guys can see her but the lights are really bright to have her awake and have her staring at the camera with the lights but she's healthy she's so active for her to be so small and she does sleep a lot but when she's up she likes to look and see and she loves for you to talk and sing to her she's such a cute little a cute little thing she's so tiny but another tip is to obviously drink plenty of water if you're going to be breastfeeding because there's times where i'm breastfeeding and i'm so thirsty drink plenty of water and nap when your baby's napping like technically i should be sleeping while she's sleeping right now but i want to get this video out to you guys and usually i'm in the bed with her laying down and either trying to go to sleep or i'm just resting my body i hope i wish you guys can really see her oh there she goes hey mama um so i'm not trying to wake her up so i'm going to cut this video short but those are her updates i will come back and update you guys when she's like a month old or two months old um and also i hope you guys enjoyed like this mini skincare nighttime routine thing um i really love this kind of combo that i use on my skin it makes my skin feel refreshed and hydrated especially before i go to sleep and honestly this little thing is pretty cool i don't care too much for the really soft side because it doesn't really do much but I really enjoyed this side. I felt like it really made my skin feel a lot softer without being super harsh because there's a lot of exfoliating things that's really harsh on the skin. So if you have a chance to pick this up at Target or something and it was only $14, I would definitely... It's okay. I would definitely pick this up and I will try to list all of the products that I use on my skin down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to check with you guys in my next video. Bye guys.